Welcome everybody back to another episode of Worlds TV. If you new, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe button, all of that good stuff. Happy January 4th. Damn, feels like this new year is flying by like crazy, but we got some good stuff to talk about on today's video. So Kyrie Irving, KI11, is back against the Indiana Pacers, his first game this season for the Brooklyn Nets because of New York's City's ridiculous vaccine mandate. I'll touch a little bit of that later in the video, but he's back. He unfortunately cannot play home games because of his current vaccination status, but he's able to play the road games. Brooklyn first said, nah, Kyrie, we're not going to bring you back until you are eligible to become a full-time participant of the team. But then, you know, they've been struggling lately. Katie's been playing outrageous minutes. James Harden hasn't lived up to that superstar player that he's always used to accustomed to be. And so it was like, yo, listen, we had half our roster in COVID protocol, even though everybody on the Nets is vaccinated and they're still catching COVID. But again, that's subject for a different day. And I believe Joe Harris is out with the injury, um, had ankle surgery. So got a couple of weeks left to go. So he comes back and makes his rehab. So, you know, it was like, yo, Joe side made the call. It's like, hey, Kyrie, we need you to come back. All right, we'll bring you as a part-time player, play the away games. Now, on the basketball stand, I want to know how is this going to work because never in NBA history have we seen a part-time player only play road games, not home games. So this is going to be a first. How is the dynamic going to work as Kyrie couldn't come off the bench because you can't have him in the starting lineup with KD and Harden. And then when you're playing the home games at the Barclays Center, just obviously, obviously take him out because he can't play. So how is that going to work with the chemistry-wise in terms of having players in and out? How is it going to work with the cohesion, the rotation? Because Kyrie is a superstar player. So he's going to be playing at least a good 35 plus minutes, 30, 35 plus minutes. So you're going to have him playing those 35 minutes off the road. But when he's home, he's not going to be playing. So it's like, how is that going to work? That's going to cut into plays, rhythms, all that, all that type of stuff. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to, how is going to work? How are they going to, you know, I'm, again, because of the current situation that we're in, because of New York City's mandate, Kyrie, Chosen not to get vaccinated, which is his right. Ain't nobody should be, you know, bashing on him for that because we've become so obsessed with worrying about people sticking a needle in their arm. But again, that's a conversation I'm getting into a little bit. But Kyrie has his right. Hey, you don't want to get vaccinated. And shouldn't have to be forced to get vaccinated because being vaccinated was not part of his employment. But nonetheless, that's part of the mandate. So, again, I really want to know. How are they going to make this work? As we're looking at some Kyrie Irving highlights here. Like, again, I'm just trying to get a figure of things. Me trying to play my GM hat and my analytical hat. Again, this is from last year. So, the only thing I can see them making this work is maybe, maybe, possibly just having maybe Kyrie start at the point. Or Kyrie come off the bench, actually. If Kyrie's going to come off the bench as like a sixth man. Now, that'd be ridiculous to say. But based off the current situation that they're in with the Brooklyn Nets, I mean, I don't see them having him in the lineup being a starter, playing 35 minutes, and then messing up the whole rotation players' rhythm. So it's going to be very interesting to see. Now, going back to the COVID uh, vaccine mandate side of things, again, I'm going to try to be as level-headed as I can because people are getting censored because if they mention the C word, or the vaccine or whatever. So I'm going to have to be very careful because people are getting deplatformed for speaking their true, honest opinion. Now, again, I'm against mandate. I don't think anybody should be forced to take a vaccine, especially the vaccine that clearly has not stopped, doesn't stop, show no scientific evidence of stopping transmission of said disease, even though that was first talked about when it first came out. And people want to deny and be ignorant about it because they said, well, you know, nobody said that the COVID vaccines would stop transmission. Yes, they did. But again, that's a subject for a different day. It's literally all over the internet if you search it up. So now they want to change the narrative saying, well, it will stop serious Ill illness, which I think it does. But we need to stop lying to the people or believing these major news outlets who have propaganda narrative that they're trying to showcase upon you, which is clearly BS. So I am against the mandate. I was I understand Brooklyn's decision to sit him saying, hey, listen, Kyrie, if you can't become a full time participant because of New York City's protocol and rules that they that they put in place we can't just have you playing road games it's half on half off so brooklyn was in a very tough spot they had nothing else to do but going back to the mandate being vaccinated before was never part of kyrie Irving's employment for the brooklyn nets when he signed his contract 
to play for the team. They didn't ask him, hey, Kyrie, we need you to be vaccinated against X, Y, Z to, to put on a Brooklyn Nets uniform. That was never part of his contract. So the fact that that's being mandated for him to play when he, and again, you need one dose to play. He doesn't need to be fully vaccinated. He needs one dose. The fact that all of that all of a sudden is becoming part of his requirement to play a basketball game that has nothing to do with health is very, very weary and doesn't make any sense to me in that way. And again, we've known that the COVID vaccines do not stop transmission. Look at everybody in the NBA. Mostly the NBA has a reported 97% vaccination rate, yet they had a, ba a major outlet in COVID cases. And if you look at every day, Woj is tweeting, Shams is tweeting. Every other day, there's like 15, 20 players that go into protocol. Maybe more than that, actually. There's like 50 players that go into protocols. They've had a crazy COVID outbreak, and the league is 97% vax. And the point of this was to stop the spread as it first happened the first two weeks when COVID broke, and we clearly have not stopped the spread. We made it worse. So, you know, again, if it wasn't made to stop the spread, then don't first come out and say, hey, we found a vaccine to stop transmission. Say, hey, listen, you know what? We lied, or we didn't lie. We made a mistake, excuse me. The vaccine was not meant to stop transmission. It was meant to prevent serious illness, which again, I've never heard of a vaccine preventing a serious illness because when I got vaccinated for all my shots before I had to go to school, hepatitis, measles, whatever, I never got them. Well, I got vaccinated for measles, never had measles. I got vaccinated for hepatitis, never got hepatitis. I got vaccinated for chickenpox after I first had it, never had chickenpox again. If you look at the word vaccination, the definition is to prevent you from catching it. So what good is, is, a, is a vaccination when everybody's still getting sick and getting other people sick? The point was to stop getting other people sick. But again, I feel like I'm going on a little too much of a tangent. And I don't want to say anything to make people on one side pissed off. All I'm saying, going back to basketball, because the, the talk about the COVID vaccine has become so political. And people have made it political and so controversial when it shouldn't have been i'm just happy to see kyrie irving back on the court it's been long overdue kyrie we missed you kyrie stuck to his guns he's like listen i don't want to get vaccinated all right covid is a serious very serious illness a very serious thing it's a new thing that we've never faced before um with the rest with this kind of respiratory virus because i know I, I have parents that work or family members that work in healthcare. All right, so just listen. Hey, listen to the protocols. Be safe. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Do all that. Protect yourself, as you should always be protecting yourself every single day. But again, I'm just anti-mandate, saying, hey, if you don't get a shot, you can't continue your appointment. Your employment. You can't go into a restaurant. You can't go to movie theaters. You can't go to a grocery store. You can't go to the gym. You can't participate in daily lives um, without this. So you know. Like I said, I'm talking about that too much. Going back to the basketball side of things, I'm super, super happy and excited that Kyrie Irving is back, even if it's for a part-time road basis. Like Kendra Perkins said it best, I'd rather have a part-time Kyrie than a no-time Kyrie. So can't wait to see him, you know, how he's going to look. Apparently, he's he's looked great. Um, I've seen videos that the Brooklyn Nets has posted of him in practice with him and KD. He, again, you know, he's been working out. He's been staying in shape. He's been shooting. He's been going to gyms and, and things of that nature. So I can't wait to see what Kyrie has in store for us. Again, even though it's about, like, what, 24 games he's eligible to play. Again, a part-time Kyrie is better than a no-time Kyrie. That is my first thoughts about Kyrie Irving's return January 5th, which is tomorrow against the Indiana Pacers. I will be watching that on the Yes Network, man. Thank you guys for tuning in this quick rant slash video of me talking about Kyrie Irving's return. Again, once again, Happy New Year. Everybody stay safe, stay COVID-free. Make sure you wash your hands. See you guys next time on World TV. And look at this slow-motion two-handed dunk. From KI number 11, man. Good to have you back, Kyrie. We all missed you. All right, everybody, signing off. Ooh.